real leadership. That's Action News 5. Coverage you can count on every day. Bert Prentice, I know you're not happy. I'm sure you've been told exactly what happened in that Colorado Kid match by now. Well, you know, my friend Harry White from St. Louis, the wrestling commissioner from St. Louis, is in the audience today. I was just talking to him. He said he's never seen nothing like this, and he's been around wrestling for 42 years. And, you know, I've never either. It took Lawler a long time. What a conspiracy this was. He's involved everybody almost in the USWA trying to get back that world title belt. A belt. Finally, the people had a champion they could be proud of. And what happens? Highway robbery. But I got a lot of things on my plate here in the USWA. One is this idiot, Randy Hale. And this week, I have asked, and it has been granted, a lumberjack match against Randy Hale. And when I fall on you this week, you're not going to run like you did last week. You're not going to be able to run off. You know, one thing he can do better than me, he can run. Run, force, run. I won't run from you. I won't run from you. Oh, I'm not going to run. I can pick your brakes out any time. The lumberjack man, they'll throw you back in, Bert Prince, and I'll pick your brakes out. I'll hit you with the left. I'll hit you with the right. I'll kick you. I'll stop you. I'll do everything to you. I'll kill you. You'll run from me, Bert Prince. Lumberjack man, I'll stop you. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. Come on. Hey, 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 look out, Corey. Speaking of running, there he goes. Randy Hale, run out of here by, by Burt Prentice. Boy, I tell you. Boy. That one may be interesting with, uh, with the Lumberjacks around there. Something <laughs> interesting right here is more USWA wrestling action, and here's Corey. Yep, this one uh, coming up today to the expiration of our time. Making their way to the ring area now. Combined weight of 637 pounds. The USWA heavyweight champion, Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. And his partner from the open roads. Here is Crusher Bow. Well, their opponents today making their way to the ring area. Coming in today at combined weight of 442 pounds. Out of Dallas, Texas, Stephen Dunn. And his partner today from Indianapolis, Indiana, here is Flash Flanagan. All right, the referee has called for the bell. He's ready to get the action underway. Flash Flanagan going against the Macho Warrior, Rick Hogan. Hogan is huge. Oh, yeah. Comes in well over 400 pounds, this is Hogan. A little too much celebrating. Flash Flanagan, <laughs> he pulled his feet out from under him. They're down on the floor, Flanagan, back up on the apron, springs, my goodness, I thought he was going to go back in the ring, he turns and springs down on the Macho Warrior. What a move from Flash Flanagan, boy I said it from day one, this guy is very exciting to watch, you never know what he's going to do, and I know if I don't know, the opponent certainly don't know, they don't know what they say. Misdirection. Where I tell you what, he, yeah. he faked me out. I thought it was going to be over the rope into the ring, and all of a sudden he comes down right back at the Macho War. What my oh, example? Got a little here. company, out ladies today. and gentlemen. Guess what? You finally got some real commentation going on here. Mike Samples has hit the desk to help you call it the way it should be. Corey, Mike. don't say a word. Let me talk. Look at here, boy. Man, have you seen two guys better than Crusher Bones? And well, I don't even have to say anything about the Macho Warrior. Look at him. What a wrestler he is. And I got something else to say about you, Dave Brown. You're not a commentator either, and I am very, very upset about the situation. I see the snake boxes out here again, Yep. and that can only mean one thing. Big that snake. Sean Venom, no, not a big snake. I saw him, he's a worst worm. Sean Venom didn't learn his lessons. My daddy taught me a long time ago, the lessons you learn are the one that hurts. And I tell you, I heard him last week when I beat him at his own game. He had the snake box out there. Who won, Dave Brown? Tell the people. Well, I won. Don't say anything. Okay. You don't. Well, yeah, you, yeah, you told us not to say anything. Well, you're you're doing fine. I won. I have gone fishing with bigger bait than that little skinny worm. I used to be afraid of it. I'm not afraid of snakes anymore. Oh, well, you were just running away from it. Now. You weren't afraid. Not anymore. I'm not afraid. I might even take that snake home as my pet. He's just about, I don't know, a foot and a half long or something. Did yep. you see him last week, Corey? Yeah, I saw him, and I don't want to be near him. I don't know you don't, Sample. Look, why don't you keep your mind on what's going on around here? Talk about what's going on about everything. Talk about me and talk about this match. Flash Flanagan doesn't have a chance here against Crusher Bones, does he? Yeah, he does have a chance. He's looked awfully good so far. And Flash Flanagan, 
Trying to fight his way back, but he's over on the wrong side now with Macho Warrior Rick Hogan and Crusher Bones. He has definitely got to get over and get a tag on his partner. Two of them, double team. And it's real hard for us to concentrate on the match when we got guys out here talking about earthworms and opening up a paint shop and stuff like that with a snake. We're trying to blame Corey Mack's inability to commentate a match on Mike Samples. I don't think so, Dave Brown. Try to find another excuse. All I'm doing is telling you that box, when they put the snake in it this week, I'm not going to be afraid of it because I conquered my fear of snakes last week. He's a small pet as far as I'm concerned. Well, I don't know if we can blame your inability on wrestling on Mike, so let me tell you, you just keep all those comments to yourself over here. You're going to stay out here. Why don't you watch the match? This is the same guy today that was out here that brought Hercules and brought the Wolverine and all of that yeah. stuff yeah. for the snake that Sean Bennett brought out. All of a sudden, oh, I'm not scared of it. I don't care. Look at this. We got a cover. One, two, he got, he got it. it. Hey. What about that, Mike Samples? How about this about How about Crusher Bones well, getting beat by Stephen Dunn here? You two probably had something to do with that because no way in a, on this planet would that ever happen again in a real wrestling ring. I think what I'm going to do is just to show you how unafraid I am. I'm going to take this snake box home with me. There won't even be a snake box match this coming week. I'm just going to open it up, push it out of here, and it's gone, Daddy-O. Okay, you're, the, the we'll snake see. the size of the earthworm, the, the little foot and a half long snake. Right. When they bring that out here, I won't even be afraid of it. I'm taking the box and going. Oh, okay. He said he's going to take the box home so there's not a snake box match. <laughs> So let's just just let him look in there. Yeah, yeah let's let him look in there. Like, Come on, yeah, Mike. Uh, be, let me get away from Open here. it up here. Is the lock locked? No, it can be open. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, just open it up. Yep, just take it on home with you, Mike. You Earth, earthworm size snake. Oh, oh my God! Oh. There you go. Going fishing, are you, Mike? <laughs> what? What did you do to that snake? What? What did you do to that snake? That thing is huge. It's a monster. It is huge. It is huge. Did you get a shot of the snake? Look at that snake. That is one huge Ooh, reptile right there, ladies and gentlemen. Holy yeah. snake. All right. Earthworm size, Mike. Uh, not afraid of the snake, he says. Here's Sean Benham right here. Oh, yeah, that's right, Mike Samples. You know, everybody's out here talking about the new and improved, you know, PG-13. And everybody in here, well, this is the new and improved snake. Just some fruit snake. Look yeah. at that. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Look out. Gee. This, hey, this week, Mike Samples, you get in this box, he's going to take care of you. Oh, I think Samples is taking sick over there. Dave. Remember the snake box match, the sequel is coming up this week. Oh, that is big. I'm going to close that lid right there and... I don't know if Venom is going to bring the snake back or, or, or take it out with him, but, uh, oh, yes, indeed, a rather large snake, much larger snake that Sean Venom has brought this time than the one he had here last time. Oh, that's going to be interesting, and Samples, uh, reality has struck Mike Samples, don't you think? I think so. We'll be back with more. We'll check our time, and we'll have more USWA conversation for you in just a moment.